I'm with Gary Coles, our Vice President of Operations. Gary's been with us for about 12 years. We're just as proud of, of the things that you can't see behind the scenes as, as well as the ambulance at the end. And Gary's going to talk through some of those processes. Uh, I know that we've covered most of the technical processes in our design and construction out here, but I want to talk just a little bit about what goes behind the scenes. We're very proud of the process controls and the product controls that we have in place. We always take the high road in our designs and our production capabilities. We create a culture here at Braun that supports that. All of our employees know that our ambulances or rescue vehicles are used uh, in life-saving and life-supporting uh, activities. So they know a failure of one of our products could be significant. And so our culture is based around taking care of the customer, we hire fire chiefs and EMTs that we have on staff here that help in the design of our product, the maintenance of it, the serviceability of it. So it's very, very important, our product, uh, that it's the top in the industry and that the quality and integrity are there. Our culture uh, is very much a family culture. We base um, our employment strategies are on a balance between family life and work life and uh, we really encourage our employees to support the integrity of the product and the processes that uh, we're putting in place here. I'm with Jeff Farmer, our production manager. Jeff has been with us for about 13 years and oversees the production. He works closely with the design engineers and following the unit all the way through quality assurance. Jeff? Thanks, Chad. Here at Braun, we follow every process through, working with our design engineering group and our fabrication department, then we go to the weld shop, we put all completions together there, the body shop, and then paint shop. What you'll see behind me is the finished product as it comes through with different phases. We have our interior prep phase, our interior, our exterior, and then our electrical install. And then at the end of that period, when it's, the electrical install is done, we turn it over to QA, where they'll take it out on a road test and put it through its paces. I'm with Mike Allen, our quality assurance manager. Mike's responsible for our quality assurance program begins all the way from our CIT technicians and all the way through final quality inspection. Mike, if you could tell the folks and walk them through uh, from the CIT process all the way through quality. First, if you could, Mike, tell us about what is a CIT? A CIT is a continuous improvement technician. Uh, they will go ahead and uh, do a lot of inspecting on the line. They will check some of the parts that do come in the door and they will also uh, reject material that is uh, non-conforming. Uh, at the quality department, we will go ahead and we have a check sheet. Hi, I'm with Scott Braun, Vice President of Quality Solutions and third generation owner. Scott's gonna talk to you a little bit about our quality solutions department. Scott? Hi, at Braun Industries, we've created a quality solutions department that consists of a team. The purpose of this combination is as we build trucks, issues that may come up in the field, you bring that information directly back to our quality assurance team. It's the responsibility of the quality assurance team to take that information, identify any potential future issues on current production vehicles, and take care of those issues right away. 